Okay, in this video I just want to talk about simplifying some more expressions with negative exponents present. So again we have uh, two examples here that we'll do. So in the first one we have 8, a to the 6th, b to the negative 4th over 24, a to the negative 8, b to the 9th. So there's lots of, you know, sort of different approaches you can, you can, you can use on this problem. And again, there's as long, I mean, there's many correct ways to do it um, and still arrive at the, the final answer. You can start by subtracting the top minus the bottom. Um, my own personal preference is first I like to move things around. I am going to do kind of two steps at once. I'm going to move the 8 over 24. I'm going to simplify that first. Well, 8 goes into 8 one time, uh, 8 goes into 24 three times. So 8 over 24 is going to reduce to 1 third. So there's going to be a 3 in the denominator. Again, I could put the 1 on top, but I, I think there's going to be some stuff upstairs anyway, so I'm just going to leave it alone. What I do now is I, use, I make use of this uh, fact of kind of moving exponents around. And again, you don't have to do this step. You could immediately subtract, but to me, this makes it, it keeps me from making mistakes. So again, it's just my own personal preference. So I just take them one at a time. I look at the a to the sixth. He's a positive exponent, so that's going to stay on top. We have b to the negative 4. Well, this is a negative exponent, so to make it positive, we can put it in the denominator. Okay, so I've taken care. i have kind of moving things around. Now I go to the denominator. We've already d dealt with the numerical part of it. I have a to the negative 8, so I'm going to put it to the top of the fraction and make it a to the positive 8. And in the denominator, we had a b to the ninth power. Since it was already positive, I'm just going to leave it in the bottom. And now I can just use the, the property. Since we're multiplying like bases, we can add the exponents together. So we have a to the 6th times a to the 8th. That'll give us a to the 14th power. The 3 is just hanging out. Then we have b to the 4th times b to the 9th. Well, that'll give us b to the 13th power. And that would now be considered simplified. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing on the next problem. I think 10 over 50 will we'll go into 10 one time. Uh, 10 will go into 50 five times. So there's going to be a 5 in the denominator. I look at my a squared. It's already positive, so I'm going to leave it on top b to the sixth is already positive, so I'm going to leave it on top. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of room inside of there, just so I can stick the a's together and the b's together. Okay, so then I look at my denominator. I have a to the negative third. That'll go upstairs as a to the positive third. Then we have b to the negative fourth, which we can put up as b to the positive fourth. And now we can simplify, so it doesn't look like there's going to be much left in the denominator except for the 5. And now we have a to the second times a to the third. Be careful here, again we add the exponents. So that's an a to the fifth power. It'd be easy again to make that an a to the sixth power, which would be incorrect, so be careful about that. And then we do the same thing with our b's. So b to the sixth times b to the fourth, we can just add those exponents and get a b to the 10th power. And again, that would be considered simplified for the second example.